All right, so some a bizarre day two developers have reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a Q&A with them. And so I said, yes, of, of course. I asked some questions before recording this, but I've grabbed the 10 most common questions that my fans asked me in my Discord, which by the way, if you aren't in my Discord, you, you missed the chance to ask them questions, you know? But yeah, I asked them the 10 most common questions from my fans, and they also showed me some stuff, uh, some sneak peeks that have never been seen before. They also showed some cool stuff like ultimate life form and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, there's a, there's a certain stand that's, I believe is going to get a rework in a Bizarre Day 2 that they also showed off in the original game somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, I, I'm not certain if it's going to be in a Bizarre Day 2, but I think it will be. Let me do a really fast summary of some of the questions that I asked them beforehand. So I asked them three questions before recording. Uh, the first one I asked was, how's the grinding system? Is it similar? Not similar? Is there any new things? And then I also mentioned that the game's combat seemed to have a lot of grabs and cutscenes when we saw the video. Um, I felt like this could have really annoyed the flow of the combat, and so I was worried what they're going to do. And third of all, I asked them how similar do you think the PvP is to the original game. And so the answers that the developer gave me, uh, Shibo, oh they said that as far as the grinding is concerned, they're not too sure yet because they're not, you know, too far into the grinding system yet. They're reworking all the stands and stuff. Arrows and Rokas are being kept though, and so are the Shinies. Yep, there's a new method too, apparently, coming to ABD that they told me. Uh, they haven't told me exactly what it is, but they said to look forward to it. For my second question about the grabs and cutscenes, they said, don't worry, there's only one grab per stand and a limit of one cutscene per stand. That doesn't mean every stand is going to get a cutscene and a grab. Um, it just means that's the limit. So not every stand is going to have a beatdown, fortunately. And you can also turn off the cutscene camera uh, if you just, you know don't want to deal with that. Uh, I think I would per I would personally turn it off because I think it would get tiring really fast. And they said that their PvP is pretty similar to old ABD. So yeah, Yippee! those are my three questions. Now we're going to ask the top 10 questions that you guys asked, which uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys ask good questions. Are you sure about that? And they also gave me some sneak peeks of the game, which I'm really excited about. You know, they have a they have a little Easter egg, Easter eggs in the map. Uh, Killer Queen, Um, you can transform into somebody. Wow. Um. I don't know how that's useful whatsoever, but you know, it's, it's, it's there. Gold experience. Um, you can, um, you can throw a rock. That's all I have to say. Yeah. You can, you can throw rocks at people. I, I already want to play the game. But yeah. We're going to join a discord call right now with one of the developers. We couldn't join the head developer clowny, oh. stupid clown. <laughs> um, because he's busy, I guess, unfortunately, we're going to do a Q and a with a, uh, APD developer and, uh, I'll see you there. Hopefully a Bizarre Day 2 comes out soon, but, you know, if you're excited for this Q&A, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. And so, because it really helps me and my editor out a lot. And yeah, let's go ahead and call up this developer, uh, get him in a server, and let's ask him the top 10 questions that you guys, yeah, my my fans, they're the smartest people in the whole world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's see what you guys had to ask for the ABD developers, uh, a Bizarre Day 2 developers. Oh yes, also stay tuned because the developer told me that he might show off some stuff from um, old ABD that never got released. I don't know if it's going to be an A Bizarre Day 2, but you know, he might show off like Ultimate Life Form and stuff. Uh, it's been like three years since uh, we were promised Ultimate Life Form. <laughs> yeah, let, let's just get in this call with this developer. But yeah guys, while we're waiting for the developer to join, um, unfortunately we couldn't record in the new ABD map because only testers have access. I tried, guys. I tried my best to get access, but ah, we, we got to do it in this map. All right, so I've officially got the a Bizarre Day developer here uh, that was kind enough to uh, join me for this Q&A. Go ahead and say hi. Introduce yourself. Any favorite anime? Something like that. I don't know. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Shiba. Nice to meet you all. Hey, man. That's pretty much it. I'm kind of bored. I don't, I don't really watch anime anymore, so I apologize for that. Ah. Uh. Uh, it's all good. Um, so it's gonna be me and him today. Clowny is not joining us today because he's a loser. loser. You're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? And now Shibo is my favorite developer. So yeah, congratulations. Welcome to the club. Uh, I'll see you in the basement after this video. I asked oh. my fans to give me their questions for a bizarre day too. Over a hundred of you responded and we got the top 10 most common questions on this Google Doc here that I'm not showing on the screen right now, but yeah. We're gonna start off with some simple stuff like will this exist? And then we'll slowly get into more and more like, you know, I guess 
what is planned kind of stuff. The first question, uh, these aren't in any particular order, by the way, for most common or to uh, least common, but first question that a lot of people were asking was about game modes, 1v1s, 2v2s, the promised steel ball run from uh, like uh, two years ago. Uh, is there any plans for that? Are you working on it for when it, when the game releases? How's, how's that going to work out? Okay, so <clears throat> as, as far as I'm concerned uh, for game modes, I'm not really sure how much I can leak on them, but I will say that we are working on different game modes other than just the, the base one. Mm. And as, as far as SBR goes, um, we don't really have that as a plan. I mean, that's just as far as my knowledge goes. I mean, Clowny might say something different, so don't take my word on it, but yeah. I mean, I do think Steel Ball Run would be quite complicated to make, but because... I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, a uh, you gotta make a whole new map, you gotta make horses, it's just mm -hmm. a whole ordeal, basically, animations for the horse, things like that. Yep. Agreed. Second question, uh, this wasn't really a common question, but more questions about the new map. Uh, I think a lot of people are hoping for, like, Easter eggs or, like, homages to the old map or, like, old things, like, old memes, like, I don't know, maybe, like, in the corner of a building, there could be, like, a, a small statue of the world over heaven throwing, like, a thousand knives at some random bacon hair, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, as, as, as far as I know from my, uh, playtesting of the game, and, of course, from, uh, the other developers and stuff, but there is, uh, plenty of Easter eggs on the new map. Uh, I can't really say which ones. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble by Clowny and get my team <laughs> forward or anything. But I mean, what's he going to do? He's a clown. I try to respect uh, Clowny when I can. But um, Okay, guys. Yeah, Clowny is um, going to be our new scapegoat on this channel. We're just going to make fun of him for everything. Everything terrible that goes on in the game, it's his fault from now on. Clowny, I do not I do not condone this. Please don't fire me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, I'm sure Clowny wouldn't mind adding in a few more uh, that he sees the community, you know, taking... Uh, a liking for, I guess. So you should, uh, you should uh, put me in the game, you know? N not no, a bad I idea. That's you know? <laughs> <was> funny, but <laughs> the third question. Uh, this was only asked twice out of a hundred people, but I really wanted it. Uh, I really wanted to ask this question, and the question is for the shop. Are we getting the music back, Cuban? Or, or like everybody that plays ABD? Uh, you guys know what music I'm talking about, Cuban. Yes. Hit it! Uh, get down, we all let you know this time Can you bring me down, back up, get far up the sky Black Rover You'll be and happy to know that there is, the, the old ABD music is back in ABD 4.0 Yes, yes, that was the best part of the shop um, Black Rover by Will Stetson was indeed a very, very, very catchy song I, that's all that stuff. matters. I think I'm going to play the game right now. All right, so I think this was the most common question uh, for ABD 4.0. Is it just going to be a bunch of reworked stands and nothing new when it comes out? Like, what, uh, you know, uh, you know that uh, thing about uh, Ultimate Life Form and uh, Green Day? Those were, uh, those were things that... Uh... Ooh, okay, this is a very touchy thing, and I'm not sure how much I could say about this. Uh, about your original question, about the gameplay and it just being reworked stands, uh, no, it's not just going to be just reworked stands. It's not just going to be the same game with reworked stands. But as far as Green Day and Ultimate Life Form uh, go, I, I don't know how much I'm allowed to leak about that, so I, I'm just going to have to say nothing about it. Damn, bro. Bro's got a gun to his head or something. I think Cloudy hates me, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Maybe he thinks I, like, stole his wife and kids or something. <laughs> Oh, no, not at all, not at all. Clowny is a very, very nice man. It's, uh, he's very, very passionate about this game, so it's honestly a pleasure to have him as our head of development. Yeah, yeah, actually, I remember him from, like, 2020, 2019. He was still there. Yeah, and honestly, he's he's done a lot for this game, so if, if anything, uh, it's good to thank him and all the other developers, of course, for their contribute, uh, con contribute. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is more game. of a personal question, is... Is uh, Clowny like the main guy in charge of everything right now, or is NATO is NATO kind of like a figurehead right now? Just like um, okay, so do you think this is more of a personal question? Um, yeah, Clowny is our head of development, and he's kind of in charge of everything. So NATO's kind of just there. He's NATO. I mean, he, he does the part. Like the he Queen of England. Oh wait, actually, she. I, I forgot about that. 
Uh, the fifth question that people were asking were about the shiny stands. Any new ones? Are we keeping the old ones? Uh, the meme stands? I don't know if we're still gonna keep, like, sands or something like that. It's kind of, yeah. you know, Undertale is kind of like, you know, it's been a long time. I don't know if we're gonna still <clears throat> have that, you know? Yeah, okay. So, as far as old shinies go, um, I know... I, d I actually don't. I mean, everybody knows there's the Christmas stands are going to be saying, of course, those are going to be transferred over to 4.0. I don't know if you knew about that. Oh, wait, but our abilities you, are getting transferred to 4.0 from this game? Uh, no, not all of them, but only specifically the Christmas stands from the Christmas update. Uh, uh, those are transferring over to the game if you have them. Um, but um, as far as new shinies go, yes, we do have plans to add new shinies to the game. Uh, hopefully frequently, honestly. It, it would be nice to have old shiny updates again. As far as old Chinese go, like the meme stands and stuff like stands, I do not, I do not know how we're, uh, how Clowny feels about that. I'll have mm. to ask him, okay. honestly. Clowny, you should have joined us. Where are you? And sixth question. We're a little, one over halfway there now. Um, I will, this is a, it's a short question, but I want to go more into detail about it, basically. <clears throat> So, mm -hmm. new boss AI, new boss cutscenes and stuff. We saw it in the in the development notes, right? How exactly are these boss fights gonna work if so many stands have grabs and cutscenes? Like, if one person grabs, can we chain grab? If one person grabs, can everybody just dogpile onto him while he's onto a cutscene? I I feel like there's a lot of ways to cheese the bosses, and I'm really curious to see how you're gonna offset just chain, 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 chain. chain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get, I get what you mean, and honestly, um, I'm not gonna say I don't know because I do know, but at the same time, it's more, it's more like, um, it's in like its early stages, so we don't really have like, we don't really have like a plan for like how we're gonna prevent these things because we haven't really gotten there yet. But um, I'm sure we will. Like, we're not just gonna release a boss that can just be killed in like five seconds with chain grab, so we're probably gonna have to put some sort of limit on it, but. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of like in its like infancy right now, so we don't really have like a set answer for how it's gonna work. Yeah, I really wanna, I really want, I really wanna walk around the map, uh, or a new map. It looks really, really pretty. You ever made it? Oh yeah, that was Connie. Connie, I like you a little bit better now. <laughs> yes, very talented builder. Um. Oh yes, this one. Um. So, oh, are boy. certain stands going to be worse than others, no matter what? Uh, like, uh, Mr. President. You know, I'm actually kind of a big fan of Mr. President. It was very useful in me getting Samurai on, like, two accounts. And, uh, you know, you, you could do a lot of, like, trolling stuff with it. So, I mean, I guess it had its purpose, but, you know, outside of that, it's kind of useless. As, as far as some stands being worse than others, I'm sure it's going to be inevitable. That there's going to be a few stands that aren't going to really be, you know, like, meta. Well, you know, like the one you're using right now. <laughs> oh, uh, about that. Come here. Huh? But as far as Mr. President goes, uh, oh man, I really don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Um, I'm pretty sure Mr. President. It's okay. If you get fired, if you get fired, I'm unleashing all my fans on Clowny. Okay, you got, you got my cover. Okay, I, I'm like uh ninety percent sure Mr. President's just being removed. I beg your pardon. What? You're removing know, the turtle? It's, it's a sad, it's a sad day for all. I really, I really tried to ask him if he could rework it, and honestly, I haven't been given a set answer yet. So, like, maybe that's still a possibility. But no. like, as far as I'm concerned, I heard, but like, actually, I would not take my word for it. It could have just been a uh, more of a we should remove Mr. President kind of thing. But honestly, I don't know. It seems likely. All two Mr. President mains are gonna be crying in their beds tonight. Honestly, I was crying too. I'm not even a Mr. President main. I really just like being a silly turtle. It's kind of funny. It, it's it's probably inevitably uh, inevitably gonna happen. Uh, eighth question is, you know, stands like Star Platinum Stone Ocean, um, Star Platinum the World. You know, in a lot of these other JoJo games, these stands are evolutions. You need items for them, but you know, a bizarre day was different in that you could just get them from arrows. I'm kind of wondering if that's still gonna be how it is or if there's gonna be more evolutions added to the game from what i've heard and like the from like other developers on the game and clowning and stuff like that i'm pretty sure the general idea is that we're gonna try and uh, explore some new ways of evolutions for stands i don't really know what specifically and i can't really say for stuff like starplot in the world because i don't even know if we're really planning to have those out for 4.0 but um yeah, there's definitely some evolutions for fans that we're trying to rework other than them just being like, oh, you can get it from an arrow, and then that's, mm, that's right. that. And so this is the final question. There's actually quite a few people asking this. Uh, 
Any plans for stands from part 9? Ooh, okay. Oh wow. yeah, if you guys didn't know, Jojo part 9 came out, so you can read it if yes. you want. Um, yes, yeah. I'm, I'm aware. I did I did see the new stands, the new protagonist stand and everything. Um, I believe this question was asked by another staff member in the server, or a tester or somebody, and... We don't really have a flat answer, but I'm pretty sure if I had if I had a good guess to say for Clowny and the other devs, we would probably have to wait until the parts like close to being finished so that we can see like the stand's actual like abilities and like more about what the stand's gonna be able to do. Because like from what we have right now about uh Jodio and his stand and stuff like that, I just think there's like too few like too little in info about his stand to be able to actually add it into the game yet. But as maybe like more info comes out, we can add some stuff possibly in the oh, future. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I, I don't think Clowny would ever close that idea out of adding part nine stands. Okay, and you saw this question coming probably from a mile away. Last question. Everybody wants yes. to know that. Yeah, I'm curious. Open beta when? Okay. Um, even, I don't care if it's answer. not finished. I'm going to complain even if it's not finished. Uh, because that's what okay. us, that's what we do in this community. We complain when games aren't finished, even though we ask, ask you guys to rush it. I'll give you the clowny answer for this one. Um, we're not giving out, like, even if we have a good estimate of when the game's coming out, we're not giving that out because the community, we don't want the community to set expectations and then get angry if we don't meet those expectations. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me 87 times, shame on me. And that's kind of what's been uh, keeping this development team going for so long is the motivation to keep on working on this game. And that's kind of be a little bit crushed if the community starts pressuring us to get out the game faster because, you know, we gave them an ex uh, expected release date. So you know what? we don't really want to do that. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Uh, I will ask, what's, uh, what do you think the development team's sort of mindset behind this game is? Like, oh, we want to rework this game, bring back to that nostalgia or... We want to take this nostalgia and mold it into something new, or well, what's the idea or premise for A Bizarre Day 2? Well, there every dev I feel like has their own opinions on why they want to work here, but I think the general the general idea for most of the devs that want to work here is that we just want to you know um, bring back bring back this game to like a good standpoint to like the way that it was before, where it was fun and a good game for everybody and you know nostalgic and stuff. But we're also like improving the quality as much as we can without, you know, ruining any of the the old aspects of ABD that everybody loved. Because like the game is the game is ABD. I mean ABD is ABD. Like it's never been like the game that everybody goes to whenever they want to see a high quality game, but it's always been a game that everybody goes to whenever they want to have fun. Yeah, just hang out. Yeah. So we wanna you wanna keep as much as that as possible as possible while still improving on what we uh we can improve on. All right, well, that was our top 10 questions from fans. Thank you so much, developer, for being here today and helping me out. Now we're going to go into a public server for A Bizarre Day and show off some stuff like uh, Ultimate Lifeform and stuff and have fun with it. So, uh, yeah. yeah, see you there. Okay, no, no, and so no, no, now no. the developer is going to show me some stuff uh, like Ultimate Lifeform and maybe some other admin, uh, admin stuff. He can't say if... You know, these things are going to be in the new ABD2 or not, but, you know, I'm hoping they are. Supposedly, it's not just going to be reword stands when the new game comes out. Uh, there is going to be some new stuff, but who knows? We'll have to see when it comes out. But, uh, yeah, I got to go all the way over to you because I just fell off the map. To start off with uh, the rework stands, uh, I think this is the right ID. Yeah, it is. Oh, there uh, it is! <laughs> It, it's really laggy. <laughs> what? Nah, so, that's impossible. Uh, Jen made it, and he's like a genius. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Uh, Jen made both. I think. I think. Uh, Shouts made this one. I actually gotta mute this post. This is the laggiest thing. I mean, ever. I don't know, man. I'm chilling, but maybe that might be because I have a good PC. What the? Oh, uh, and a player broke it. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a an AUT classic. <laughs> very, very much so. Um, so th that's that's the biggest problem with uh, Ultimate Life Form actually is that if anybody attacks you while you do a move, it just completely breaks the stand and you have to rejoin. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that they didn't show y'all completely. For uh, we you might think I can get use away it? from all the people here because they're gonna let me god you real quick. You think I can use it or nah? I wish I could, but I don't think I'm allowed. To. Ah no! Even though there's like nobody playing, dang. Okay. I can show you everything on Ultimate. Uh, all right, that's fine. That's fine. So first off, the the Z move, of course. Uh, Wee! <laughs> the, the camera like zooms out too, right? Yeah. 
and then uh, there's this move, I believe. Oh, well, that's just E. It doesn't, it doesn't do all that much oh, damage. Dead. It does, like, two damage. But uh, then there's... Oh, it I bugs you. <laughs> Oh, does it? Yeah, I got, I'm gone. <laughs> uh, that's all the, like the first form. I think it only has like two moves and then this, and then there's obviously the pose. That's pretty cool. Ooh. And then there's a few other forms I can show you if I can unpose. So this is cheetah form. Oh, I remember seeing this one. Whee! <laughs> yeah, this also zooms out your camera. But it's also gonna be a screenshot. Oh my form. gosh, it's faster than. Samurai's. Yeah, it's this is not gonna be fast. fast. <laughs> the damage on it is pretty good too. Uh, it kind of shreds people if you help! land all the hits on it. Uh, if you land all the hits on oh, it, there we go. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> so this is this is uh, Mantis form, I believe, or Grasshopper. No, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have much like combat-wise. You just jump around. It's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm gone. Oh. oh. <laughs> there. Oh, <gasps> save. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all to this form. We just jump around. Wait, actually, a lot, can you I use guess. cheetah form and then hit me when I'm blocking? Uh, yeah, sure. Or the barrage move. Uh, I can. Um, okay. Thanks for the random time stop. This one makes. Ow. Oh. Did you god bone me? I did. Oh, okay, uh, okay. That's why I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay. There's one more, right? There's two more, actually. Oh, okay. Um, there's Cars Harmon mode, which is pretty cool. This move only looks cool if you hit it. It doesn't. It kind of looks lame if you don't land it. But uh, let me try landing it again. Hold on. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my god! Amazing ABD Use it on boxes. Me. Oh, there you go. All right, so this is the last form for it. Uh, it's a defensive form, I guess. You kind of just turn into a ball. A rock. Uh, yeah, you, you take a lot, like, reduced damage. You also roll around in it with Z, which is pretty cool. Wait, roll. Uh, roll, go! Ah, uh, it broke. Oh no! Our table is broken! No! I think I just broke it. No! I think I fixed it. Hold on. Yeah, I did. ACB rolling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit buggy, it kind of messes up your walk speed sometimes, but it's still pretty cool. Um, and I have one last thing to show you. Uh, this is kind of like a thing that we've been working on for a while. It wasn't common knowledge before, but it's kind of common knowledge oh, now since we've been using it. Which is red work. That's coming in the second ABD? Uh, I'll, I'll stay neutral on that for now, I can't really say neutral anything about on it. What? <laughs> I, I, can't say I can't say specifically what it's going to be for, uh, Okay. so I won't. But everybody, okay. Let me restart. People keep on attacking me. Huh? Lego bird. Yeah, indeed, angry bird. Oh, mommy, smash! Oh, um, I animated pretty much everything that's on here right now. So, oh, okay, nice. uh, this is the idol, and this is Crossfire Bird, and it's pretty cool. Uh, it's fireball. <laughs> And uh, those are, I think that's pretty much all the moves that are like reworked in game right now. It's just the idol and like a few other stuff like this, but it's still a pretty cool thing to show off. <clears throat> um, I think Crossfire Hurricane Marines, it was occasionally. It, it's still just as broken as before, so. I would have loved to do this QA if we, when we had more, you know, maybe info or like, I don't know, maybe some pictures of some like new items or something like that. Uh, thanks so much. Mr. Developer for coming out here, talking to me, answering our questions. Well, to the best of your ability. Uh, maybe Clowny could have given us some more info since, you know, he's in charge and he would have known what can be told and what can't. But either way, yeah, uh, um, that was Q&A with ABD Developer for ABD2. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, look forward to it. Uh, I'll be playing the open beta when it comes out, uh, which is hopefully soon. Probably not. Uh, but... Soon enough. Yeah, soon enough. <laughs>